Okay, what I'd like to do now is start setting up some controllers so I can control this character uh, as you would a traditional rig. Okay, so my outline I'm just going to minimize for the moment. And I'm going to go to my curves uh, tab in the shelf here and select the circle uh, curve tool here. I'm just going to create a circle out like so. Now this is going to be controlling my left leg at the stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the snap tool, snap the point, and this will allow me to snap it to my ankle. If I'm in trouble snapping, it's because my geometry is not referenced. So I'm going to go to my geometry here where I have my geometry inside a layer geometry, and I'm just going to change it to reference. And when it's in reference, it shouldn't interfere, but it is still interfering. Okay, if that's how you want to play it, let's make it invisible. And then it should snap beautifully. Let's turn back on my geometry. So this will be my controller for my left leg. So I'm going to call this left leg controller, or CTRL. And I sort of like it, but I could probably shape it a bit. Shaping means that you customize the curve itself. So if I press F9 on the keyboard, it enables me to go into its uh, control points here. And I'm just going to sort of start manipulating a little bit like so. If I can just switch off snap. And just to sort of make it nice and neat and easy for me to select my foot like so just leave it like that to unmirror it I intend to mirror this across or copy it across uh, to be the other foot as well so I've created this so I might as well just duplicate it like a control D on the keyboard or edit uh, hit duplicate from my edit menu and you should get a copy. Let's turn on my snap tool and move it into position. Okay, let's just double check to see if it's all correct. And of course name it appropriately. This will be my right leg controller. Like so. Now looking at my channel box here. What I want this to be able to do is keen only in the translate and rotate channels. I don't want about a key in scale or visibility. Essentially, I only want to have these channels available for when you are hitting the key option or setting keys with S on the keyboard. So what I can do is actually I can lock and hide my scale attributes here by right clicking while they're selected and go lock and hide selected and they'll disappear. That means that when I hit S on the keyboard these channels will no longer be keyed. So essentially Depending on what's hidden or not hidden in my channel box here depends on what is keyed and what is not is and what is not keyed. My visibility I want to just hide though, because you want to be able to toggle your visibility at some stage in the future, and if you lock it, it will not be able to be toggled. So I'll repeat this with the left controller here. So I'll select the scale, which I do not want to be uh, locked. Well, I may want to lock and hide selected, and hide selected for that one. Also want to freeze the transforms here so I can zero it all out. So if I go modify and hit freeze transforms it's not going to work because I just froze or locked my scale. So if I go to hotbox and remove scale from this and hit apply it will freeze its transforms so it's nicely zeroed out. Ideally you should do this before you lock and lock attributes otherwise you'll have the problem where nothing will happen. Uh, but you can choose what's going on here. So if you've scaled your curves here to fit, before you lock and hide attributes, make sure you freeze the transforms. Alright, but this is nicely zeroed out. So if I move it, let's turn off snap, if I move it and rotate it, I can easily correct it by just entering the value 0 into everything. 
and that's why we freeze everything out. Alright, so let's hook it up. So to hook it up, I'm going to be dealing with the animation menus, and I'm going to be looking at my point constraint and my orient constraint uh, for setting up the foot. So I'll open up my outliner again here. And I'm going to select my right leg controller, and I'll select my right leg IK, and I'm going to uh, affect a point constraint. So essentially, that will allow me to control the IK handle position. Now I want to select this controller again, and this time I'm going to shift select the right foot bone or joint like so and I'm going to apply an orient constraint to it okay it might do this so we undo but it basically freaks out what we need to do is we need to go up to our constraint menu go to orient and select the options box here and what we're looking at doing is maintaining our offset so essentially we need to check this and when we hit apply, you will notice that it no longer flips out, but we also have control over our foot, like so. So if I was to move the main hip joint here, you can see the differences between an unconstrained leg and our constrained leg on the right hand side here. Okay, so let's hook up the uh, left foot. So I'm going to select in my outliner my left leg controller and shift select or control shift select I think it's just control select my left leg IK and I'm going to apply a point constraint and I'll select my left controller and shift select my uh, left foot joint here and hit the orient constraint which won't need the options changed because it remembers it from last time and now we'll be able to control this leg and we'll also be able to control our hips and see the result down there like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our arms, which is pretty much the similar kind of setup. So we'll minimize our outliner, go to curves, let's create a new curve. And what I'm going to do is turn on my snaps and snap this up to my wrist. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, which zooms in. It will just focus on this particular part here. And this will be my left arm control. And I'm going to control D or edit duplicate. And I'm going to snap this over to here as well. So F from the keyboard to zoom in or focus on the point. And this is going to be called right arm control. And this time I'm going to freeze everything in advance. So my freeze options here, I can switch on scale this time. And if I hit apply, it will basically zero it all out beautifully for me. And the same with this. Apply. Okay. I can hit, uh, or now I can basically modify the sub objects of this curve by going into F9 mode and I'm doing F9 mode and not in uh, object mode because I want it to maintain its orientation values that I just put in and you can now just sort of manipulate this however you like this is all completely aesthetic just to turn off snap here uh, but usually it's just for ease of selection so let's go across to the other side here and repeat this process. So just to repeat, I'm not doing this in the object mode. I'm doing it with the sub-objects, uh, basically because I do not want to manipulate the orientation. I want it to be zeroed out exactly how it is. You can experiment with that, of course, but uh, this is the easiest way at this stage. Okay, F8 to get into object mode. And we have our hand controllers set up.